So first let us understand the parts of the bulb. So if you look at a bulb like this, it has got different different parts. Okay. So the parts that we have for a glass bulb, this is a glass bulb, this is the tungsten filament that you look over here, right? So this is this is the one which is having uh, the resistance, okay? And we denote it like this. Sometimes we also denote it as a simple resistor itself. Okay, then you have got connecting wires, you have got foot contact, you have got inert gas. And then over here is the rating. This is very, very important. What is written over here? Rating is 100 watt, 220 volts. What is the meaning of this? This is very important. What is the meaning of this? It means that this bulb is going to dissipate 100 watts, 100 watts of power, which means 100 joules every second. But when? What is the condition for it to dissipate 100 joules every second? The condition is that when it is connected across a potential difference of 220 volts, only when it is connected across a potential difference of 220 volts, then it is going to dissipate 100 joules per second. What if you give it a lesser voltage? What if you connect it at 50 volt? Will it still dissipate 100 joules per? It is not even getting that much. Did you understand? Okay. So, so when you are connecting it across 50 volts, you see that the bulb starts getting dimmer, right? The brightness of the light decreases, the intensity of the light seems to go down and it starts becoming dim. And what do we say in general? We say that, oh, okay, I think the voltage is low. Did you understand? The voltage is low. So this bulb is supposed to give you 100 joules of energy or supposed to dissipate. Dissipate in what form? Well, I'll tell you most of the energy is dissipated in form of heat. Some of it in form of light. Okay, so you can have some kind of a ratio like 95% in form of heat and 5% in form of light. Yes, that's the conversion ratio. So actually, the bulb is dissipating more energy in form of heat itself. Okay, any resistance for that purpose. Mostly, the energy that gets dissipated is in form of heat. Okay. So when we are saying the rating of the bulb, so in India, actually, it is rated like this because we work on 220 volts okay so when we say that there is a bulb which is rated as 100 watt at 220 volts it means that when it will be connected when it will be again i am just reconciling this statement i am trying to make you understand the importance of this statement because if you have understood this then everything else is all right everything else is simple and going to be very easy what I'm telling you, when you see the rating of a bulb, what do you take away from it? What is the key takeaway from that? It means when it is rated as 100 watt, 220 volts. It means it will give you 100 watts of power. It is going to dissipate 100 watts of power. Or in other words, it is going to dissipate 100 joules per second. Given the condition that it is connected across, 220 volts of voltage supply. Did you understand? Okay. Only on this condition of 220 volts of voltage supply, if you're connecting it across this potential difference, then only you're going to get the value of power dissipated as 100 watts. If not, then no. Then you'll be getting probably less power. Okay. Which means that if I go with the formula of power and I can write it as V square by R, I see that this power is dependent upon the value of the voltage. So if I have to write the value of R, R can be written as V square by P. So can I find the resistance of this tungsten bulb by using its power rating? Absolutely you can. You can definitely find the value of the resistance. What will be the resistance? Well, it is rated as 100 watt at 220 volts, right? So 220 squared divided by the power that is 100. This is the resistance. Now, another very important and most significant question. What will change and what will not change? So, if you are talking about a bulb, I can connect it across any voltage supply and it can give me any value of power. Correct? Depending upon the voltage supply, 
because it is supposed to give me 100 joules per second or 100 watt of power when I connect it across 220 volts of supply, right? 220 volts of potential difference. But I might have a choice. I will connect it across 16 volt. I will connect it across 30 volt, 60 volt, correct? So if I change this voltage, obviously I'll be getting different values of power, which means power can change, voltage can change. But what will not change is the resistance. Because this resistance is dependent upon the material. Correct? So the resistance is going to remain the same. This is the most significant line of this entire explanation. The resistance which you have calculated now is going to remain the same. Because you are not changing the wire itself. You are not changing it. Right? Okay? Sometimes you see in a bulb which has got fused, you see that this tungsten filament has got broken and it is dangling like this right it's it, it dances like this we love to play around with it i don't know about you but i i used to love this when i was a kid so when you look at this so what has happened actually because of the heat being generated it, the a part of the wire got melted and that is why uh, you know we say that the bulb has fused okay all right so the most important thing is first is that when we talk about the rating of the bulb it is rated as 100 watt, 220 volt. It means that at 220 volts, the bulb will be dissipating 100 watts of energy. However, what is going to remain constant is the value of resistance, which is going to be V square by P. And according to the rating, V square is 220 square divided by 100. So these many ohms is the value of the resistance of this bulb. Okay, I'm not going to calculate it. Of course, if you want, you can do it. No, no problem. I don't have any issues. So, then comes all the other formulas of calculating the power and the energy. Okay. Now, let us do this exercise. Let us say that this is a bulb. And in first case, first case, we are connecting it across this potential V. And the first case, we are saying that, okay, we have supplied exactly 220 volts. The bulb will glow in its full potential and will get uh, the brightness as expected, which means 100 joules per second, of course. What is the resistance? Even if you have not connected, can I calculate the resistance? Because I have the power rating. The power rating is 220 volts and 100 watts. What will be the value of resistance? R is equal to V square by P. V square is 220 squared divided by p is 100 no problem when you calculate this you are going to get 484 ohms okay if you want you can calculate it no problem so this is the resistance and this resistance which is equal to 484 ohms is not going to change it's not going to change and that's the beauty of it this is not going to this is going to remain the same okay now next what they tell is now i connect it across a potential of 55 volts then the question is now what is the power dissipated at 55 volts this is how the question will be framed okay a bulb is rated as 100 watts 220 volts if it is connected across a voltage supply of 50 volts or 55 volts what is the power dissipated by the bulb okay so now we'll calculate the power dissipated we have the formula p is equal to v square by r now we have the value of V, which is 55 squared divided by this value. R we have already got, right? 484. Did you get this? Did you get this? Easy? No problem. And why we have used this formula? Because we know V, we know R. Correct? What do you get? You are going to get 6.25 watts. So, wow. You calculate this, you get 6.25 watts. Now you tell me one thing. If there is a filament which is dissipating, which is giving off energy in form of heat and light, in one case it is giving off 100 joules of energy per second in form of heat and light, most of which is heat obviously, but some part of it is light, let us say 5%, which means you are at least getting 5 joules per second. Okay, all right. Now, another one is giving you 6.25 joules per second. So won't the bulb be dimmer when you connect it across 
a potential of 55 55 volts yes or no yes correct yes or no yes okay so if that be the case if that be the case then what will happen can i say brightness of the bulb is directly proportional to the power yes more is the power more will be the dissipation more will be the conversion right you will see more amount of light coming out from it because the amount of energy being dissipated per second itself is more did you understand did you understand easy right in the second case even if you think that okay the first case we were getting five percent even if in the second case you are getting more light let us say more light how much can you get 90 percent of it will be heat 10 percent will be light 10 percent of 6.25 still much much lesser no right so the intensity of the light will be much lesser in this case which means brightness can be thought as directly proportional to the power dissipated cool